Hello everybody! It is I, once again, the Cynical Shiny. And today is the start of a brand new playthrough of Monster Rancher Advance. And we're going to go ahead and start a new game. I've been kind of playing around with it, trying to get myself reacquainted with this game a little bit. We're going to go ahead and start over. Welcome to Age Monster Association. Yay, we're an age. Please enter your name. Okay, so we're going to enter my name. I think I know what name I'm going to go with, as always. Oh. There we go. Oh. There we go. C. S. H. I. N. Y. C. Shiny. Yeah, Sea Shiny. Your name is Sea Shiny? Yes, it is. Thank you. Hello, Sea Shiny. I heard about you from the AGIMA president. The chairman will be here. Well, the chairman, not, not the president, but the chairman will be here shortly. Please wait here. So, we're going to wait here a moment. And there he is. Thank you for coming, Sea Shiny. I am Murdoch. Or Marduk, but I like to call him Murdoch because Marduk sounds like, you know, some kind of demonic presence. And he doesn't look demonic at all. Basically, he's just like the chairman of this uh, monster association. And he's called you from whatever land you were in at the time to come here to Age, or Agey, or Aggie, or I call it Age because, you know, it's how it's spelled. Uh... Basically, they've called you up from wherever land you were at the time and asked you to come here to help uh, these two particular ranchers that have this old run-down ranch and everything. And they can't really, like, do much with it. and It's all beat up and everything. And they're like, since he's the best that, you know, he's got a bunch of accomplishments and everything else, why can't we get, like, oh, I don't know, Sea Shiny to come down and help us? So that's what they did. They basically, like, uh, Murdoch here, he basically, like, got in touch with us and was like, Hey, man, can you come down here and help these two, uh, young people with their ranch and, like, help them get, be successful? And we're like, sure, why not? I ain't got nothing else going on right at the moment. So, uh, we're gonna meet the two ranchers now. This is the, uh, first one, the younger sister, I believe. Her name is Aroma, as we'll find out here shortly. What's going on, Aroma? Oh, hello, Mr. Murdoch. 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 Yuck. It's a good thing these things don't happen very much. But this is uh, her older brother, Zest. So we have Aroma and Zest, two siblings that own a uh, rundown ranch. And basically, the Age Monster Association got in touch with us to help them uh, become more successful with their monster raising and stuff. And to get their ranch some recognition. So that's basically the gist of what we're doing here. And, you know, I guess they had put in a request for some help. And the chairman's like, I know just who to get. We're going to get Sea Shiny. One of the greatest breeders ever. And Aroma's very pleased and very excited to have us here. Zest is just like, he's more like, yo... Have some respect. Don't mind us. We're, you know, he's just kind of down on himself, it seems like, a lot of the time. Because he's like, man, this ranch is in ruins and there's no condition to raise monsters. You know, we can't even feed the monsters adequately. We don't know what to do. So it's like, okay, yeah, so I get it, you know. And he's like, we still accept our request even under these conditions, and it's like, dude, I got this. You you guys need my help. And Roma's like, mad that Zest is, like, telling him everything. And she's just like, don't sh shut up. Shut up, you dummy. It's great to have you here, Sea Shiny. See, I already like Aroma. I like Aroma and Zest. They're, they're good characters. They're good kids. Uh, she's definitely gonna be very helpful uh, with our monster breeding. She'll tell us, like, the monster... Once we get our monster, which I already have a monster in mind for what I want to go with, 
uh, or the type of monster, I should say. There's different types of monsters you can get. Each one's like a little bit different than the rest. You know, a bunch of them send to different species. And within those different species are like variations on the same monster. Like it's a different color and it has different stat builds and everything else. And it's really like a really fun but yet easy game to get into. Like you you start to care for your monster once it's like starts getting like really good. Like and especially like me, I like I like to get attached to my monsters, so when it comes down to like there's a certain point once the monster's been with you for like at least a couple of years in game that uh Aroma will come to you and be like, Hey man, this monster's, like, not gonna grow any stronger than what it already is now. I think we should maybe, like, retire him. And when that happens, it's like, you can either make him a coach, like, to train your new monster in a, a specific, um, like, stat. Whichever stat that that particular uh, monster you made a coach happens to be, like, really proficient in. And sometimes it'll do, like, well, once we get into the training, I'll kind of uh, explain a little bit more about that. But for right now, we have to get a monster. So we're here at the we're here at the Age Shrine here, and we're talking to Bolzoa, Bolzoa, and uh, we're basically learning how to regenerate a monster, like uh, through tablets or books. And a tablet is one where you write, where you basically pick out like a certain a certain uh, word of a certain amount, like four letter, five letter, six letter, and the amount of letters you can use to uh, write the words to summon new monsters uh, will increase as the as your breeder rank increases during the game. Which the way you do that is you win tournaments. So, uh, and that's the tablet regeneration. You basically like type in a word, and uh, based on what word. You typed in that will give you a specific kind of monster um, and book is basically like it takes the words that you've already used and saves them so you can like constantly like use them to summon the same kind of monster and but we're gonna do tablet since basically he's like why don't you do tablet regeneration and then he just told us like uh, it's dangerous for a trainer to use this many characters uh, you can use more when you reach the proper breeder, uh, breeder rank and you can only use wor tablets with four letters. So basically we can only use four letter words. And the word that I'm going to use today for our first monster is... C. Lowercase r. Lowercase a. And lowercase b. Crab. We're going to get a crab monster. It's one of my favorite monsters in this game. All the monsters are cool in their own right, which you'll see a bunch of different ones as we, like, fight against them in tournaments and stuff. But I particularly like the, like, the crab versions. Like, the crab types. Like, look at this guy. Oh, he looks so cool. Sisawa? That's how I'm going to pronounce it. Sisawa! What a healthy-looking monster! It looks like this is your first of this type. So basically, he's going to take the word crab and put it in the book. So when we come back here and we want to, like, say we want another one that we can, like, mash together with our uh, Sesequa here, uh, we're going to... It's basically like we'll just be able to just pick from the book and just regenerate all the time. But I don't think we're going to name it Sesequa. Uh I'm going to name it... Oh, I don't know. Let me think here for a second. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
Orn what? Orn, orn, orn what? Orn you. Orn you. Or you. Or you. That's a good name. Or you. It's just a random name that I just picked out. Took me a minute to just kind of like figure out what... Just putting kind of words together and see what fit. Or you sounds like a pretty cool name for this monster. So that's our first monster's name. Or you, the Sissiqua Crab. Not only that, he looks pretty badass, if I do say so myself. He's gray, he's got the big old claws sticking out. He's like, yeah, I'm ready to fight. Let's do this. I'm ready to train and be the best monster ever. And this is the AGIMA. The people who basically hired us to help Roman Zest with their uh, ranch. And basically, this area, you can like uh, send your monster for a month to uh, train it. Once you get the ability to do so, like, you'll unlock that ability later in the game. But you can send it here for a month, and it'll train it, like, in a specific, uh, like, power, uh, technique, speed, accuracy, something like that. And you have chances to unlock different moves that your monster can use in the, uh, monster fights. And then, um, you can basically, like, it'll raise its stat up by quite a bit, depending on how well it does in the training, but it'll raise it up by quite a bit, and, uh, the best way to do that is to wait until you get special, uh, uh, months in the game, which, uh, the, uh, amount of money it costs to actually get the training is reduced, so that's what we're gonna do, and this is the studio, and that's Chamez, or, Sh uh, Chamez, I can't pronounce, I cannot pronounce these names, so I'm just going, I'm just making them up as I go. Chomies. Chomies. Or cham, chamois. I don't, I don't know. Anyway. This is where we can, like, uh, store our monsters. We can revive uh, stored monsters, bring them back from being frozen. Uh, we can delete monsters so we can start fresh. And then we can turn around and combine two different monsters into a new monster or a stronger version of its type. And that way you can, like, mix and match monsters and make different stuff. And, uh, oh, he, oh, or you look so happy. He's ready to do this. But we're going to worry about the full training next time. Uh, we're back at the ranch. Or he's ready to be trained. And next time, that's what we'll be doing. So I hope to see you for the next episode. I am the Cynical Shiny, of course. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the funny paper.